camera. Today, chat, we're going to be getting every single S ending in Fear and Hunger and maybe one or two extra. It's pretty difficult because every single character has their own ending. So that means we need to beat the game four different times with four characters. And last time it took me 12 hours to get half an ending. So we're going to be able to do all of them today. Now, it, things may go wrong. There are some problems with this game. I have been practicing and sometimes I've just lost games because a glitch will happen where the screen goes black and I'll be, I'll be an hour and a half in and I lose it. What will happen is if for some reason we're like literally right next to the end and we get by a glitch or something, we'll just, we'll just we'll figure something out. So here's the plan. Here's the plan. There's four characters in Fear and Hunger. Outlander, Gregnavold, we got Engi, Dark Priest, we got uh, Das, the warrior, and we got Kahara, who's the mercenary. And to get every S ending on Fear and Hunger, you need to do it on the hardest difficulty, which allows for no saves. And everyone does more damage to you. So if you die, you have to restart the entire game. You also can't have any party members join you, and you need to use torches all the time, or you can't see anything and you go insane. Yes, this is absolutely insane. All right. Oh, man. I'm scared, chat. I'm scared. That's what I would say if I was a little bitch. Didn't know what he was doing. All right, let's get the speed run timer out as well because we're serious. Buckle in. This is going to be a fast run. We're going to start off by getting the night ending. There are many glitches, and we're going to use one to show you how we can get a fast ending. Oh, the dogs are after me already. Wild ass dogs. Jesus Christ, doggos. We've got memories. All right, we reset the run. <laughs> We, we didn't get what we needed. <laughs> Go through here. Dog is going to chase us. Trust me, this makes sense. I know the doggos are really loud and annoying, but don't worry about it. The dog just so got that loud! Empty scroll. Okay, here we go, chat. Oh, I forgot to... I, <laughs> I need a quill. I forgot. I took the wrong f item. I chose the wrong option. Uh, this one. Oh, we can do stock up on equipment. Oh, that's right. I fucked up. I had a good start there, too. Oh, yeah, I'm slow. That's the problem. That's crazy that an ability like that can just slow me to the hell down. Oh, the dog is going to get me. Oh, my God. The big guy's going to get me. Oh! Oh, this is terrible. Oh. Don't want to fight this guy. Wait, what book did I get? I got something. Scroll of church healing. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No. Alright, so we're going this way. We're looking for an empty scroll. If we don't get it, we reset. And the layout of the thing changed. God damn. Oh, me. Oh, Christ alive. Oh, here it is. It's right here. I'm dumb. Looking for an empty scroll. Empty scroll? Nope. Empty scroll? Connor, please don't ignore me. I just got Twitch. I'm ignoring you right now. Wait, what do they get? Scroll of fencing. Dog shit. Alright, reset. Look of enlightenment. Okay, great item, but useless to us right now. Fuck off. Not the book we wanted. Alright, not the empty scroll. No! No! This is just like Genshin Impact. Yeah, it's like Genshin Impact, but you don't pay money, you pay sanity. Oh, yeah, okay, boom. We're, we're in, we're in. Oh, Lord! Teach? Is it teach? Yeah, teach. Teach first, teach. All right, here we go, we're cooking. So we learned the phase ability, which is really busted. And then you can go this way. And we're done. You escape the dungeons of fear and hunger. Part of you still doesn't believe this to be the truth. <laughs> you can still smell all the blood and the gore that seeps through the seams of the ancient stone walls of the dungeon. You can still feel the gaze of hundreds of past warriors sacrificed in the pools of blood now left to rot. You can still feel the pressure of the never-ending darkness that underground... Yeah, you guys are so confused. <laughs> yeah, this game is a fun... Uh an interesting amount of bugs. This is the ending where you go into the dungeon, you find Lagarde, and then you come out and escape. However, we decided that we would clip into a wall and then just fucking leave. So this is ending E. Uh, you take one more look at the fortress to make sure you really did make it out. Oh, but we didn't make it out. There was a censored bar that was haunting us the entire time. So this ending actually is, uh, you get out of the, the dungeon, and the whole idea is, is that, did you really escape? You did physically, but your mental is still in the dungeon and you'll be haunted and traumatized by being in the dungeon. However, we did not do that. All right, one ending done. The next ending we'll get, should we get the easiest out of the way first? For those of you who don't know the general story of Fear and Hunger, each character has their own motivation to go into the dungeon to save or kill a character known as Lagarde, and Das here has a bit of a special relationship with Lagarde. If you've seen Berserk, it's basically Casca and Griffith, if you will. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, Das here is obsessed with Lagarde, whereas Lagarde is only interested in getting power. On the normal difficulty of this game, you can actually save Lagarde if you reach him with in 30 minutes. However, on the hardest difficulty, Lagarde is always dead no matter what. What would any sane person do when a loved one has passed? We use blood magic to resurrect them into a hush of who they were. Say it with me, chat. Blood magic. Blood magic. 
So we need to go to Mahab, get three pieces of paper which tell us how to do that, and we simply go to Lagarde and resurrect him, and we're done. Ah, uh, let's do it. One thing that I learned about fear and hunger is that all the dungeons have different layouts. Uh, so you see, oh, what the f This is a terrible start. We gotta restart. There's like three possible layouts. So we kind of need to get a layout that's not shit so that we can reset a bunch of times. Let's hope we get a good layout. All right, we're cooking. A little worse than the previous one. It's still a decent layout. Actually, it's pretty shit, actually. Get I Come on, give me heads. Okay, nice. Empty scroll. Great item. Not all we need. Okay. It's okay, because editing is great. Because editing, we can skip past all this stuff. Boring sh Oh, getting this book enables us to teleport to this place called Mahab. All right, we're cooking. All right, boys, here we go. We're going to use one glitch. Game is a fun little thing where you can just walk right here. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go. Okay, we're going to go across here. Go this way. Uh, avoid this guy. So now we're looking for the three parts of the book to resurrect our loved one, which is a normal thing that we all do. So we're going to... Get one of the pieces of the book, which is should be in here. Torn instruction one. That's what we need. We need the three torn instructions, chat. We're going to get this guy. And then this guy. Okay. Got this here. Watch this guy end. Sing with me. Okay, we still, there's still parts we can f*** up on this. Torn instruction two. We got to get the third one, and then go to Lagarde and resurrect him. Bones guy? Yeah, the Bones guy's the go. All right, so we get the book there. We talk to that person who's in a cage. And then we go through here. Hello. Don't get hit by this guy. Right. So now we just leave. We have all the pieces. We can leave. However, many of you will realize that we still have to make it through all the dudes. Got to dodge this guy. Oh, fuck. Okay, we got to not get hit. We got to be able to run. Oh, okay, we did. Oh, open, 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 Lagarde, Lagarde, Lagarde! Okay, Lagarde is dead, as remember, on the ass endings, he's always dead. <sighs> Your task in the dungeons is done. Oh, oh! No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, oh yeah, you gotta craft it, we gotta craft it. I'm an idiot. Okay, we craft. We have this. We now have this item. The instructions of rebirth. We're going to learn it. We're going to read it. Paper's only mysterious occult symbols and circles that form the instructions on how to give rebirth to your loved ones. The magic of rebirth and beloved is engraved in your mind. Oh my f*** off. No, don't. Don't do this. Okay, you could use rebirth of beloved here. Yes. All right, and we got an S ending. Using the complicated magic and rituals involved seem to come naturally from you, as if there was a divine hand guiding you in them. With this magic, you can finally unite with the one you love. This is what you believe, at least. Why is he watching? All right. I, I breathe. I'm a god. Shed my human skin. I don't need it. No. All right. You could not save your loved one from the cruel fate that the dungeons had ready for him. But you succeeded in the next best thing, resurrecting Lagarde. He shed his human skin, mocking his past existence as a mortal. You didn't mind his changed looks, but mentally he was somewhere else as well. He had turned into a beast, craving to unleash the terror and suffering he experienced in the outside world. The man claimed to have risen to godhood, but as you examined his behavior as a warlord, he resembled more of a bloodthirsty ghoul. Still, you were reunited with your loved one. That was all that mattered to you. Maybe with this new crude look and way of thinking, he could finally be just yours completely. Ending S, the true god of fear and hunger. All right. That is actually one of the canon endings. Let's get the mercenary ending next. This one's going to take a few tries, I think. Kahara, the mercenary's ending is a little bit nicer. To get his ending, we need to go and interact with Lagarde's dead corpse. Then go all the way back to the start where a masked man named Isaiah will spawn. This man will sell us two maps for 50 coins. We then go to Mahab and dig up this treasure. Uh, upon finding the second treasure, we'll need to get a third map and once we find the third and final treasure we can leave happily ever after but of course it's not that easy so this one we're not we're not gonna use any glitches we're just gonna loot everything uh, we want to avoid fighting at all costs okay did that really efficiently good job connor uh that guy we can do that through for some reason i don't know why so i also figured out how the guards worked mostly so i can manipulate them like that oh i said i could manipulate them ignore me i lied we got to hit this, which pulls the thing that allows us to access the mine, the cage. So now that we have that... Oh, me. Okay, I did this wrong again. Wow, that guy locked onto me. Hopefully we don't lose an arm. Oh, we're going to lose an arm. Oh, my God. All right, let's hope we can get out of this. Otherwise, we have to reset. Oh, my God. 
No, that's why we don't want to fight. We had a good run up until that. Yeah, as I was saying, we had we had 50 silver coins, uh, and then we need to trigger the crow to spawn. And when the crow spawns, a masked man will spawn. And then that masked man will sell us a treasure map, which will give us some treasures that will allow us to escape the dungeon and take our wife out of prostitution, because that's what she's up to right now. Because Kahara's motivations of being in the dungeon is to get money so that his wife doesn't need to be a prostitute anymore. Now, um, I think we can get a sword, which is kind of busted. Oh, Lord! All right, now we're stacked with a fat claymore. So we need to grab the rope. We're gonna grab the rope from here. Now that allows us to use the rope to get down to the seventh layer, which will allow us to open the gates to hell. We want to get the cube. The moment we grab their cube, the villagers' cubes, they're all gonna aggro against us. So we take it. Now they're gonna aggro. Oh, that's fine, because it's the last time we're coming here. This cube is an item that you need to access time travel. Trust me, it'll make sense later. We're gonna use the rope to climb down. We're gonna go through here, ignore all these ghosts, and we're gonna open up this thing, because now we have enough money to go and buy the map that we need. And then we're gonna come back down here. We have this fat claymore, so we should do big damage to him, I think. Okay, nice. Right now, the crow's gonna spawn. Now. Hi. Ignore the crow. The masked man who sells you the maps won't spawn unless you find Lagard or you spawn that crow guy there. So we didn't want to go to Lagard because it's kind of risky. So we spawned the crow guy and we're going to use him now. So we got that sorted. Oh my God, bro. For real? Okay. Let's just kill him. Oh, we got infected. That sucks. Okay. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ, bro. Sucks for us because now we're infected. Okay. Masked man. Mysterious man looks a war veteran almost. His right arm seems to be missing and there's something very intimidating in his stature. Who are you? What difference does it make? On second thought, the name's Isaiah. You could call me a veteran of these dungeons. In any case, I'm done with this place now. I've played with my luck long enough. We can sell the maps for, say, 50 silver coins. Deal. We get map one and two. So, now that we have the maps, we can get the buried treasure. Hold on, we're gonna do this. Okay, broke his ankles. Get, get back! No! Okay, broke his ankles. Get I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go up. Lockpick the store. Go this way. Um, go here. Okay. Put the cube in. <sighs> Alrighty. Wait, what books do I have? Map one, map two. <laughs> what the f is this map? Bro, no wonder he wanted to sell it to me. It's useless. Look at this map. Uh, so this is actually the furthest I've ever gotten, by the way, uh, in my Kahara run. Let's go. Do, 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 Let's go. This, doing this will unlock a uh, passageway for us. Aha. Okay, we're good. Right, so, avoid all mare here. Oh, it's in the past, isn't it? Fuck. Wait, do I have to go in the past? Oh, this is where I get scary, chat. There's a, there's a key, basically, we need that's in the past. In the future, sorry. So we go here to reset. This way. Very dark. Now there's going to be these poison dudes, and we do not want to get hit by them. No. Oh, my God. I'm going to use the white vial that we had. So get rid of our poison. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, so grab this thing. Old passage key, all right. That uh, essentially allows us to use the back passages, which we need to use to get to one of the chests. Uh, but also it makes getting around a little bit easier for us. <sighs> okay, this is the furthest I've ever gotten in the ascending. Oh! I don't want to f*** it up. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, oh my gosh. So, I'm scared because the fucking... The guy can spawn. Oh, there he is. What is that sh Don't worry about that sh Okay, get out of here. And one of the treasures should be here. Find 70 silver coins in the chest. Oh, okay. Impressive. You actually found the treasure. Okay, I should have healed before this fight. Can't imagine the horrors and riches this place is in store. Don't mean to stay down here any longer than I have to. So now I'll be taking the treasure and returning to sunlight. Let's hit his torso. I want to see how much damage I do. Okay, I think we kill him in one turn. Go! That claymore is so huge. Map three. Oh! We have the run. We have the run. We just, we just literally got to get the thing and get out now. That's all we have to do. There's no way we can f*** this up. All right, so we got him. We got to get back in now without getting f by the witch. Okay, the witch despawns. Huge. Okay. All right. All right, we're cooking. We actually don't 
need to fight anyone for the rest of this run. All right, here we go. We find the king's crown from the chest. This crown looks very valuable and pricey. It is bound to guarantee wealthy life if you sold it to the proper vendors in the kingdom of Rondon. The amount of silver and gold you get from this would greatly exceed the amount you were originally promised for the bounty. There is no need to continue your journey into the depths. You can escape through these dungeons and leave all this behind while you're still alive. Right, so we have it. Now we have to get the f*** out. God, okay, we did it. I'm gonna go in here. And grab an explosive vial that we can use on this wall. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna use the Joe Star family technique to get this boy the f*** out of here. Hopefully we don't get bad luck with... Oh, this guy. Don't step on a bear trap. Don't step on a bear trap, Connor. All right, we got to dodge everyone again. Little bro didn't see it coming. Gotta dodge this guy. This guy is a run ender, so we have to be really careful about this boy. He is so dangerous. I think we're good. All right, we're so close, boys. We're so close. Wait, oh, we have to go and see Lagarde, right? Or the ending won't trigger, no? I gotta go and see Lagarde. Um, so I need to go back and dodge all those guys again. Oh, okay. Okay, I got him. All right, now we have to be careful, because there'll be an elite guard that we have to dodge. Who? We're done. We're done. We just gotta dodge this one guy. He's the only really, really dangerous guy that we can face. Okay. Oh, f off. Why are you taking so goddamn long? What is bro doing? Okay, he's going this way. Okay. Okay. All right, there we go. A few more enemies we've got to dodge still, and we gotta be hope we get don't get super unlucky with the crow. Oh, the bird is in the way. No, stop! Stop! Nice! Bitches, let's go! You managed to escape the dungeons of fear and hunger alive. It is a feat unheard of before. Not only that, you also managed to find valuable loot that would guarantee a wealthy future. The long journey back to civilization felt like a lifetime. You could not sleep as you constantly felt eyes lurking in the shadows of the night. The darkness, even though it was lighter than anything you experienced in the dungeons, still sent shivers down your spine. As you finally found your way to the kingdom of Rondon, Everything felt unreal. You could not understand how people would lead their everyday lives simultaneously as a great evil existed beneath their feet. You sold the ancient crown to the highest bidder. The amount of silver you got from it exceeded your expectations greatly. You also felt better getting rid of such unholy artifact, as it kept reminding you about the darkness. You rose from the lowest class scum to a noble and a heartbeat. You bought your wife free from the labor she forced to at the red light district and settled down in a fancy manner. You got everything you ever dreamed of, you got most of the noble families on a leash, thanks to your great wealth, taking any breadcrumb you threw at them. Still, you could not sleep. Every passing moment you would be grabbing onto the hilt of your sword and staring at the dark corners of your room, just waiting for the inevitable. You knew that the darkness you witnessed would, no, would leave no survivors. It would still come for you one day. All right. S ending, happy ending. It is probably the happiest of the endings. You get out alive, you get your wife out of slavery, but you have a bit of PTSD. Two endings down. We have two more to do. Those were the two easy ones, and we're two hours into the stream. The other endings we can be f***ed on. We need to do something very specific for Ragnarvold and Enki. Enki, we basically need to beat the whole game again. Enki, the Dark Priest, has a, a much more difficult ending. We need to befriend Nosramus. Nosramus is somebody that you will most certainly bump into on your journey. However, all the other characters have no connection to them. We basically need to talk to Nosramus here, 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 and here. Upon which we can finally sit on the throne of Ascension, enter the void, and we are facing our new godly self. Sounds easy, right? It's not! However, there are some things that we can use to help make it easier for us. Because the game likes to f*** us, so we will f*** the game back. The hardest difficulty doesn't let you get party members. So you're kind of stuck alone. However, if you walk up to this wall here and press enter, boom, you now have two party members. <laughs> 
I don't know why. You can then use these party members. They're completely normal. They will act like normal party members and it doesn't affect you getting the endings. The party member glitch we might use if we're having a really tough time. Anyway, let's try and do Enki's ending. This one's going to be long, actually, because I think unlike Ragnarvold, you have to get a really strong start. Oh, I went to double. Okay, I got it. Okay, that's actually super useful for this run. Oh, I think I want to kill the priests, right? Oh, shit, you did not miss, bro. All right, one down. They're not attacking. Yeah, they can only attack us with the fire. So we're not, we don't care about that. Oh, yes. Hold on, let's double check out here, make sure I didn't run past. Oh, it's here. We can use counter magic on it. And if we use counter magic here on this door, it unlocks it. And in this room, there is a hexen table that allows us to obtain new skills. But we need soul stones. So. No, off, dude. What the fuck? Look away. No. Oh, no, I cornered myself. No! Oh, I'm dead. This run's over. For sake. I think I won't go all there. I, I, I can't go to the gods. I can't pray to the gods of the depths, right? God of the depths. Oh. Praying to the god of the depths here allows you to get the move Locust Swarm, which is very useful, as well as Necromancy, which can make most fights easy as hell. Off. Off. All right, let's reset. Let's, have, let's get our good back. Hmm, not bad. Ass. Let's let's try and get spell scroll or an empty scroll. Okay, that's decent. Huh? What's needle wound? Huh? Let's try it. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. That ability fucking sucks. I think we do. Grow. I went with Grow Groth, which gives me access to some attack magic. I got the bad one. No. Dude, I'm getting this layout so much. Oh, it's ass books. That's fine there. We'll continue on. Fallstone. Sacrifice. Doesn't it increase our thing with all man? No? All right, we already have a ton of affinity with Grow Groth. We want necromancy. There, so we gotta go Blood Golem first. We need one more soul stone. The wiki says for S ending, introduce yourself to Nosramas. We gotta find the old knight and talk to him. We gotta defeat the old knight. We gotta go to Mahab and we gotta go talk to the enlightened one. We have to go and beat him first though. We gotta acquire walk on water. How the f do we get walk on water? We also need more soul stone. How do we get soul stones? Luck. All right, a lot of luck is what I'm reading online. Not what I wanted to hear. Let's search a bunch too. Oh, we got a pipe. Sick. We can smoke opium now. All stone. Got it. Okay, nice. Oh, sh bridge isn't here. Wait, the cave mother's gonna attack me, though. Fuck. Oh, hello, yeah. Our priest lost another leg. What? No, have I lost my legs? Well. Wow. Oh, f Why the... Ah, uh, okay. What does the ancient book do? What does it do? At the same time, sure. Turns out this book is very book. Many legends tell about. And then necrom necrom heads. Let's go. This book is very book. The book is summoning powers that exceed you next to its ancient presence. Rogroth blesses you with new blood magic. You learned black orb. Aw, huh? that's nuts. Wait, now we're on a great run then, huh? All right, we're already balls deep down his tree. Huge. Soul stone. All right, let's use it. It's gotta be heads, right? It's gotta be. Ancient book. Heads. Again. No! Oh, on a f***ing coin toss. What, would I even got anything if I did it right? Would I, would I even have got a blood spell randomly? Fuck. Not a lost run. Let's try it. Oh, Passage of Mahab, man. Right. Ooh, huge. 
Not so huge. All right. We have walk on water now, guaranteed, which is something we need for the run. Can't get necromancer arrows. Right, so I'm going to blood gold. Ancient book. Oh, do we do it? Damn, but let's go! Heads. Oh. Stupid game, bro. Yeah, I think that's fine. We just got to get a run off the ground. Once we have a run off the ground, we're, we're, we're vibing. We're chilling so hard. Oh, get the fuck. Oh. This is great. Wait, this is wait, wait, this is really good. If we go against an enemy now, the pine cone pig will give us random item drops. Oh, new visitor. The white-haired alchemist gives you a smile that seems almost too genuine. My apologies. I've left the kettle on. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Let's meet again. Hey, I have a problem right now, chat. I really, really, really need necromancy before I do anything crazy. We also need to get a soul stone. And the next soul stone that's a freebie that we don't we don't really need to worry much about, it's in the sixth level of the mine. So we kind of need to just go through and get all the way to the mines. He's going to hit us right away. We have to just hope that he doesn't hit our leg. Nice. Wait, that's what we needed. Let's get the f*** out of here. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's, let's play it safe. Let's play it safe. Oh, no, he's right there. No, 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 no. Why? No, I had streamer luck. Get bored. F*** off. Dude, he's literally camping it. Okay, necromancy makes this like a done deal for us. All right, here we go, boys. All right, we're pogging hard now, boys. Oh, he's here. What's he doing here already? Um, let's do Connor. Because I'm a ghoul. What should we call him, boys? We call him. Oh, fuck. can I control what they do? Oh, I don't. Oh no. Bro, just one shot him. What the fuck? Should we use it. Wait, I'll. S I have blood golem. I should, and I should still be using blood golem. Ah, fuck. Oh, I'll have him. <laughs> Alright, now we're, now the run is on, boys. Alright, level 6 in the mines. The Armored Knight, where is he at? This guy, even though he looks like an Armored Knight, is the Spectre Knight. Basically, he's the true form of the Old Knight and is not the primary target for this part of the run. However, we will run into this guy anyway, he'll attack us, and we'll run away so we can start the real battle which is here. Starting the battle with the Armored Knight, also known as the Old Knight, will start a two-turn timer. After which, if the old knight is not killed, the spectre knight will join the battle. Basically, Ooh. very bad. Hello. Oh, f wait, what the f what's happening? And the reason why he's kind of just oh. floating pieces of armor is, again, because I'm playing the censored version. He, he basically looks like a rotting corpse underneath normally. Oh, we all lost an arm. Right, here's how we save this. We ask God for healing spell. We don't have the quill right now, but we I know we can get one. So we can go and do that. Okay, this run is still possible. Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, oh, we're so in. Oh, we're so in. We have no arms, but that's fine, because we're going to not be relying on any of this shit anyway. Got the quill. I don't even need to buy it. Right, right, right. Let's, 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 let's. Oh, Lord. Each healing space whispers. All right. Alright, we've saved the run. Oh, f yeah. Oh, my boy's gonna be strong. Okay, ideally we want another empty scroll. Next up, we need to go and see Lagarde's dead corpse, which will then trigger Nosramus to come and talk to us, allowing us to progress with this ending. Oh, sh Oh, shit. I, I gotta run. Please run work. Goff, what the f***? This guy's on my dick. Huh? The god is dead. I gotta, I gotta use this to get the f out of here. Oh man, I had to get out of there. I was, I fucked myself by being where I was. There's another skeleton in the city. Where is he? Else? I could just stop with my head. Head. It's gonna be tails now. Maybe we just get the other skeleton and then try and fight the soldier guy again, because I'm just kind of scared. What the f Oh, is it because I didn't figure it? 
Oh my god. She just waits there? That's so funny. He passed away, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, okay. Basically, she's telling us that we should continue onwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same shit, different day. What the f you? Come on, don't f me on this. Wow, so we're kind of stuck right now. We need to be able to kill this guy. Do I have an explosive vial, actually? I gotta kill that night guy. Get the other skeleton, but I just don't know where he is. I genuinely never realized you could do this. Perfect, okay. Oh my god. What was I doing here now? I forgot what I was even coming here for. Oh, lucky coin. All right. Wait, I get it from him? Or do, I, do I have to kill him? Who are you? What difference does it make? Yada, yada, yada. Kill him and you get them for free. Well, that's good enough for me. You can't kill him anymore. Oh, I had just messed up massively. You see, in one of the treasures that Isaiah's maps leads to is the ability to walk on water. And we need to cross a lake where the salmon snake is located and reach Nosramus's second secret laboratory. And because in the dialogue option, I didn't immediately attack him, instead I spoke to him, it took away the option to attack him later on. I then declined his deal, upon which he would not deal with me anymore, meaning I can't attack him and I can't buy the maps of him. I'm locked out? Oh my god. Okay, well, we can still get it we need to get an empty scroll so we gotta go and fight the armor guy we gotta kill him this time oh i'm so pissed off at myself man okay oh perfect and so i defeated the old knight which enables me to then meet with nosramus again <sighs> you're the one creeping in the shadows earlier my name is nosramus i'm resort to brute force like this my studies are hundreds of years old i see shit what do i say i don't matter with anything that happens in the upper floors but i think the person you're looking for is located in the dungeons to brute force down i'd hurry if i was you Push some works if you don't mind. Okay, we got the empty scroll. Right. Don't f this up, Connor. Oh Lord, by Mercedes Benz. <laughs> oh Lord, teach walk on water. We're cooking. We're cooking big time now. So we've killed that guy. Now we gotta go and kill the enlightened one, which is kind of scary and not good. So what we'll do is, is we'll go back up. The bird thing, I feel like although it's a pain in the ass to fight it, I think it's worth it because I need it. I want the soul stone. A huge risk. Dude, but having a soul stone and having black orb spam would be massive for the run. Bro, look at him. Oh Lord, please make this thing kill itself. I then use the cube that I grabbed earlier to open up these ancient doors. Oh, fuck it, I'll fight him. Fuck it. Fuck. And now we watch as I make the biggest mistake of my life as I needlessly waste the past two hours. No, no, the two hour run. Oh Lord, give me today's sponsor because I'm gonna need this financial woes for all the therapy. <laughs> Two books in one, damn. Can empty scroll, but I stepped on the f thing like an idiot. Let's we ball. Let's find out what we get. Read the book. Heads. And I decided if the game wanted to do me dirty, I was gonna do it dirty. So f you, game. Two can play at that. All right. Oh lord, give me party members. Else, kill it. Fuck. <laughs> no. No. No way, bro. Hey, Pete, how you doing? I just lost two hours of progress. It was, it was really fun. It was really cool. It was, it was so cool. Oh, my. Oh, Lord, give me my f arm back. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, I got to go down to the dungeon now and that guy. Oh, my God, he's there.
Oh my god, he got one of my f***ing legs. No! Oh. Okay. <laughs> no! No! Oh, f*** my life. You blind now too? Yeah, he's blind now too, huh? Why don't we all, don't we all just come become blind, huh? <laughs> Why is he not hitting the f***ing blood golem? Hit the f***ing blood golem! Oh, so I'm blind now. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when the, you get blinded in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's a reset. Fuck my life, dude. You can't heal blindness? Uh, no. You can't heal shit in this game. <laughs> oh, God, I wish you could heal blindness. What about Mr. Beast? <laughs> oh, Lord, give me Mr. Beast. <laughs> oh, Lord. That was pretty good, actually. Fuck off! This game! Is there a mod to mute the dogs? I wish. Listen to those f***ing things. Listen, shut the f*** up! Dude, how? Love the dev. But why did he not mix the audio? Get out of my head! Get out of my head, dog! Oh lord, give me earplugs. Heads, come on, baby, come on! Oh lord, tomboy GF. <laughs> All right, Locust Swarm is like our desperate spell. As you can see, it costs 35. It is very expensive to do this spell. However, very busted. Ideally now though, we need something to heal all the sh that we have. All right, Jet, buckle in boys. I force this one open. The door is too strong for you, Traveler. I tell you what, ideally I, I would have got the blood goal, but I to myself. Come on, we just soul stone in here. Fuck, that's so fucked. That's a soul stone if we hit that. God, this game is out to curse me. Hmm? Oh, my. the game just crashed. Oh, we didn't do it wrong, and the game does. That's so fucked. Oh lord, please fix this goddamn game. <laughs> no. Damn boys, god damn. Oh boy, give me balls. Read the book. Heads of course. <laughs> oh, we just insta die. No. Okay, we got an net. Okay, hold up, we got, we got, hold up, hold up, hold up. This could be good if we get the coin toss. This could be big. Oh my god. Twice in a row we failed that coin toss. Leave in tails? Dude, I gotta go with my boy heads. My boy heads. Oh! This is what gambling addiction looks like? Kinda. Except uh, gambling, at least you win something. <laughs> I don't get anything out of this. Oh! No. <gasps> no. I got an empty scroll too. No. I think I need two decent things. I was gonna put the dog down. It's annoying as hell. Oh, you're telling me about it. Oh my god, this is huge. Oh, that's actually super helpful. Come on, baby. Oh my. Oh, we're cooking now, boys. Oh my. All right, okay, there's one more soul stone. Let's get that before we leave. Come on, don't f me. Oh my. F All right. He's there. Uh, we could kill him and take the map. Because I think, honestly, even though I think he's kind of a tough fight, he has, what, a thousand health, I think? Are you really prepared? I think we're pretty good. I think we're good enough to kill him. So I just put on the floor. That's so fucked. And despite being strong enough to beat Isaiah, I put on the thorned ring, uh, which means that I can't complete this run as I need to attach another accessory later on, and the thorn ring cannot be taken off. I hate this game! So I took out my anger the only way I knew how. I 
can't believe that. How the f does the game even let you lock yourself out by pressing the fucking optimize button? Holy shit. Now I have to do these fucking coin tosses for like nine hours again. Oh, Dev, why are you so evil, huh? Oh my god, it's an empty scroll as well. We Ideally, we want like two good things here. One that allows us like either two empty scrolls, which would be nuts, or just an empty scroll and something else we can use. Let's see what I get, just so I can be sad for a second. Okay, ancient book, okay. Wow, okay, this is pretty good. The 50-50 coin chance. Read the book, let's do it. Heads never fails. Come on! This is the run! Insane how I've lost that three times in a row. Okay, huge. Can we get another good book? Wow, okay. Ah, blood sacrifice isn't the best. It's fine, I think. I think this run is fine. Don't settle for less, King. All right, fine. I thought it was okay. Let's find the gacha. Let's do it. Oh my god, I've lost that four times in a row. No! No! Ancient book, okay. Look me. Well, let's let's do the gamba, because why not? We've been doing it every time. <laughs> oh god, okay. Oh, it gave me black orb. Oh, that's kind of good, but we can just do an empty scroll to get that. Okay. That's fine. I think I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think uh, I think defense stance is fine. I actually kind of like having that. All right, let's hope. That's decent. Come on. Wow. F off. How do I how do I delete that right now? Now we have a chance of getting another soul stone, which would be very beneficial. So let's try and get that. Come on. Yes! Well, I definitely got to hit this switch, which is kind of scary because the guy's right there. Oh, and this f***ing... Get, fly off! Cough! You're a nuisance. You're just a nuisance. You're a nuisance. Move. Move. The other way. Other way! Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No. This is so bad. This is so bad. Oh. Fuck. Please hit the, the blood golem. Oh. It's fine. You missed. Nice. Holy sh. Oh, really? A cloth fragment? F off. Uh, okay, his bones are broken, which as many as you can probably tell is not ideal. And he's missing an arm. However, he is a meat shield. But that's what he's going to be for the rest of the game now. Give him the ring. Yeah, I'm just going to give him the ring. He's kind of... I feel like he's kind of dead to me. All right, here's the, here's the dream right now, chat. Here's the dream. Here's the dream. We got we got the soul stone. So we got one. We can, we can get an additional three if we get super lucky. We already have the blood golem. And then on top of that, we can get healing whispers. So what we're hoping for right now is some... An A tier lock. All right. Give us a soul stone. Yes. Okay. One. Okay. One thing went great. We need to get lucky one more time. Can we get another soul stone? This would give us the run 100%. Okay, that is also fine. Um, we're gonna equip that. That's actually actually that's awesome. Okay, now we need a quill. Okay, we got another guaranteed soul stone here. Kill we just put one enemy in it. Uh let's do it. Empty scroll. Yeah, let's do it. Let's learn healing whispers. Oh no! Teach me healing. Greater blood magic. Cool. What's the armor? Okay. <laughs> no. Poor f***ing Ragnarvall, bro. Can't catch a break. 
people. I think we can just go to Macabre now, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. We have to kill the Enlightened One, and then we have to talk to the past version of the Enlightened One. Oh, that's right, I gotta beat him in the past, and then talk to him in the future. Right? Of course, when you have to go back to the past, then to the present, over and over again, it can get pretty confusing. Oh, it's not like he's in a game end. He's, he's strong, but we can clap his cheeks. Wow, I found two copies of my favorite book. Oh, here we go, boys. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's good. That's a good start. Whoa! You hear a question. Among the new gods, I am Valtiel, the Enlightened, as Francois is the dominant. Who is the tormented? Uh, who's the tormented? Uh, Among Us. Okay, okay, nice, 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 nice. Nice. Okay, now I think you can only headbutt. Okay, I think we're good now. New gods, we're still walking. Oh, I did not mean to pick that answer. <laughs> not the answer I meant to choose. Red, the god, all right. Uh... I got what you're beating on this head. Oh, finally. All right, okay. All right. Yeah. Nice. Still not out of the woods yet. We got a few more fights that are kind of tough. All right, we're going to be fast here, boys. Fine. Right. Gotta go and talk to him. They should be hanging there. All pointless. Mankind got no hope. There's no way to break these chains. But look in your eyes. You're after the Enlightened One too, aren't you? Do I have to do anything right? Do I have to say anything? Nah. There's a person among us who was right. We were blinded by the Golden Throne already at that point. I must admit his own mistakes in order to grow. Alright. Alright. Um. Goodbye, witch. We have an empty scroll. I'm just gonna save time and just do this. Oh lord. Teach. Walk on water. All right, I also have to trigger Lagarde, I think, which is not good for me. No, no. Ain't no way, dude. Ain't no way. I think the problem is he'll just be there. Let's hope he's magically gone. He's not gone. We gotta re-enter the room. I think that's our only chance now. Go up. Other way. Why is he just standing there? Okay, this is good. He has, he has reset. Oh, shit. Gotta run, run, run. Maybe if I just forcefully open this door, the guy chasing me will reset aggro and leave me alone. Nice. Oh, nice, nice. It worked. Okay. All right. Be sad. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Very sad. <laughs> He's gonna watch the cutscene with me. Holy fuck, that jump scared me into oblivion. Oh my god, that jump scared me. I, I, that took a year off my life. Hmm? <sighs> yes, yes! Oh fuck. Ooh, this guy's strong, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, yeah, nice. Someone seems to show empathy for the Enlightened One that has seen at the end. Well, it's an end of an era in that case. It was inevitable. He said you were on the path of Enlightenment. Too bad I wasn't there to hear that. Really out of character for him to say that. He believed dissension was the key, that he could somehow achieve Enlightenment with a snap of his fingers. That was a ridiculous idea. I cannot understand how a scholar like him would believe that in such a way. The thing is, there's no end to the path of Enlightenment. If you're on the path of Enlightenment, seek all knowledge. Even if the knowledge of the new gods, I wholeheartedly recommend that you sit on the golden throne and meet your reflection. If you truly are a scholar of sciences, only observe. Do not surrender yourself to the lust of power. 
know it's not e an easy task, so that's why you can have this. I should keep you grounded. Thank you. Okay. And so I journeyed on through Mahab to get this goddamn ending. I gotta do the flashback, and then I gotta do Granny. Problem is now, Grandma's got hands. And to prepare for this granny fight, I watched a quick guide from this guy named Frapolo. Somebody will be hearing a lot throughout this video. Literally, she's gonna take your face and put it as a mask on herself. Right. Useless to say that the party member that takes this particular status, which is called face rip, is gonna die immediately. Oh, I'm wearing the iron mask on Enki, actually. So I think we're fine. Is that two bosses, because Francois's easy? Yeah, Francois, we can stun lock, so we're not actually worried about that. It's mainly this one that we're actually kind of concerned about here. And we want to loot up as much as we can. Oh no, Ragnavold, what what happened? Oh no. All right, Grandma, so we attack the arms. That's the strategy. The body is too much health to go for initially. Ragnavold, not doing much. It's a flesh wound. Nope. Raider Blood Golem. Come on, Connor. Oh. Shit, he's dead. I was super risky doing what I did. Okay, I think we're good. I have all you served as well, boy. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backstory, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Oh, Lord! <gasps> Teach me. Lord, have f mercy on me, boys. Okay. Oh, and that's how you use phase step to manipulate the game. Skip the boss. We could have skipped the grandma too if we had phase step earlier. Leading up to the next boss, we have a lovely temple filled with fire traps that if we step on for even one frame, you die and the game resets. I'm not even risking it. I'm taking it super safe. Now we're against the boy. So, we can manipulate this man. That's why I'm about to eat some pee, pee We can use the best ability known as gaslighting, which is very powerful. Okay, you say, prepare to die like a worm. I'm past life and then talk shit to you. You say, of course. And then you say, you're nothing, blah, blah, blah. And you say, how little you really know. And then now he's stunned. You still haven't said it, please. <laughs> now, now he, he literally is lost for words. We can kill his arms, which honestly, I, I feel like I should do just because I'm scared. <sighs> I'd die like a worm. I'm past life. Of course. You'll just be an extension uh, of my domination once You're nothing I... but a puppet. Well, who is it that puppet uh, how little you really you know. You... Oh lord, teach me gaslight. You know, I'm probably just gonna chill the f*** out, I think. Honestly, I don't want to use any mind. We'll just do this the slow way. Why not both arms? Oh, if you guys want me to, I can, I can hit both arms. <laughs> There you go, guys. Better die like a worm. I'm past life. Not of course. Just be an extension You're nothing of my domination. but a puppet. Well, who is it How little you really know. And he's still locked again. <laughs> you still haven't had it. Dude, that, whoever figured that out initially must have felt, like, insanely gigabrained. Average Twitter user attention span? Uh, Francois the average Twitter user, to be fair. Best part is, we can keep stun-locking him. Even though his head is free, it actually isn't. Of course! You're nothing but a puppet. How little do you know? Oh, massive. All right, boys, last thing we got to do now is to go and find ourselves. This guy cuts off his arm in the world record or previous world record. He just cuts off his arm. I don't know why. I'll try it. Okay. I don't know why. I couldn't I couldn't teleport, but now when I chopped my arm off, I could teleport. Yes. Oh, we skipped the boss. Yes. This is the new god. Knowledge, it suffocates those who are unable to adjust to it. I could not bear the world with everything I've learned with the enlightenment and my ascension. It is said that ignorance is bliss and that the, uh, on, the knowledge only enhances the pain. The only way for me to continue existing was to change. 
Knowledge changes one permanently. There is no looking back after a certain point. As time will pass, will you tell people about your monumental achievement and share your gospel? Sure, let's do it. Stories about your fabled endeavors are passed to the people of all ages. Your tales inspire many in the times to come from children to elderly. In the coming era, mankind is at brink of chaos. Disease run wild and kingdoms wage war with hundreds of thousands of casualties on all fronts. You'd have the power to interrupt and potentially stop this. Instead, you could try affecting mankind through religion and beliefs. Sure, you leave your golden throne to just disrupt the ongoing wars without violence strength you crush your enemies once you're done with your rage mankind is left to steady chaos common people get no one to turn on to as they seek safety from smaller tribes by meddling with mankind you ended up halting the technology okay yep got it cool people are also less self-imposed because of relying on the gods of the past civilizations are back to the iron age like structure where physical strength is the only thing that matters men fear you you are known as the fierce god and because that are no other gods left to rival your power. You become the one and only god, despite your strength being limited to that of a new god. You set foot to your ascended plane where you met the reflection of yourself, a form that had taken shape of a new god. The reflection was what you were, were to become. You felt a great lust for power take you over, but you came prepared. You'd been warned about the lust. You declined the godhood and managed to step out of the plane that was colored by the green hue that radiant from underground pits. Oh, that's the rare that we learned about last in last game with your newly found knowledge you took the grand libraries of the ancient city to be your own the library already contained more information one could digest in multiple lifetimes but lucky for you you discovered the secrets of prolonged life pretty soon you found out how the older gods had left this world long time ago you're taking care of the new gods that resided in the city of the god you did not need godhood to chase after the true enlightenment you did not need godhood to become the most powerful mortal to exist all right ending s the enlightened one we enlightened anki's s ending done Holy f that was six hours long because we had to reset 900 goddamn times. Holy moly. Uh Next one is to become Guts. We have Ragnavald ending. Ragnavald, the Outlander's ending, is the easiest. Yeah. To mess up and is absolutely terrifyingly hard. To achieve this ending, you must get every single unique soul that you can obtain in the game. That means you need to kill every single major boss and monster in the game. All while not being able to save, taking more damage, and not having any more party members. So yeah, it's pretty hard. This is the God of Ultraviolence run. The one good thing about Ragnavald is that he's OP as sh**. Apollo 94 is offering to help. Remember the guy whose guides I listened to earlier? Yep, yeah, he was in my chat offering to help. So I hopped in a Discord call with him. Hello there. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Connor. Sorry I'm eating right now. I've, I've, I've watched some of your videos earlier to reference. Really? Oh yeah, the old Boon Jones told me about that actually. Oh, I've, dude, both of you guys have been saving my ass. Oh really? I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, First of all, really I want to tell you, uh, do you want an overview about what to do during Ragnarvaldor S ending? Or uh, do you want to use glitches for in order to do it? Um, okay, give me the overview first and then tell me the glitch. I want to see how much it breaks the game. What if I told you there is a way to get infinite empty scrolls? There's a, there's a way to get infinite empty scrolls? Yes. Uh, <laughs> how? Basically, in this spot right here, I'm going to send the image on this okay. board. In that spot right there, okay. what happens is uh, you get uh, infinite empty scrolls, uh, light blue vials, uh, sticks, uh, cube of the depths, okay. because of, why not? Uh, and also, you're going to get uh, the knight, the outlander, and the girl as a party members. <laughs> this one spot just gives you everything you could possibly need. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> My suggestion is, uh, if you don't want to use glitches, uh, yeah. get Blood Portal, you know, to get the Blood Portal very quickly. I couldn't figure out how to do it, cause unless I did the all Mare um, affinity. You pray to a ritual circle, you sacrifice the guy, and then you pray to the statue in the courtyard. How do I- wait, wait, sacrifice the guy? Which guy? Uh, you know the dark cultists uh, in the zone near Trotchur? The, the one the, the priests were in the, the fire? Uh, yeah, those, are, those that go... Uh... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Near them, there is a guy on a cross. Yeah, yeah okay? I remember this, yeah. Yeah, you can sacrifice it if you interact with it. Yeah. Okay, if you want, I can write it down, basically. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there is. Uh, get the Endless Soul. Uh, important, uh, get also a goal to go to uh, level 3 affinity with Grogroth. A uh, scroll or a uh, goal? A goal. What's that? Goal, you know, those things you can use necromancy on. Oh, goal. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the, yeah, sorry. sorry, my pronunciation is not exactly no, good. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I... I, I I <laughs> were like a goal, like in football. I was like, what, a goal? A goal. Right. You explain the intricacies of all the bosses to me, detailing what I should go for first, glitches that I can use in the run, basically everything I'd need to know. After taking in as much as I could, it was time to start the run for real. And that's basically it. Do we have any other questions? I'll probably have a lot of questions when I get in and start doing it right now. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you don't have a busy day today, because I'm going to be... <laughs>
I'm going to be asking you for help. No worries. I'm all day here. Oh, my God. Fantastic. All right. Let's f do this. We got to go guts. All right. So what were the choices that I had to go again? I forgot. No, I forgot lesson one. <laughs> he's already he's already messaging me. Perfect. He's telling me he's walking me through it. This is the goat. All right. Got this layout. Arm guards. Great start. Oh, f already got morning star. Holy sh! This is a run. Can I, just, can I just fight this guy just for fun? Not mean to do that. How am I already eating shit? Oh my god! <laughs> Not like this. The run was great though for a second. The Wilhelm scream. So. I need to go pray to the statue, and then I need to go and get the soul stone from the priests. Why is Devour the first one? Ah, oh, I feel like it's gonna come back to bite me. Alright. Leg guards. Leg guards are probably more important than arm guards, right? I don't know though. Most- I guess most enemies don't go for the legs. <laughs> I got- <laughs> I got a message from him. Remove the stupid leg guards immediately. Alright, sorry boss. Oh, no. What do I do here? We don't care. Okay. He said, he said we don't care. I, I, I don't know. Hey, don't shoot the messenger, all right? So, I'm looking now. I want to get the blood portal, right? What am I looking to do in the mines? Any backseating is welcome for Palo. From you? Oh, I'll allow it. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. This is the blood portal, right? Yes. Got it. Okay, boom. That was easy. Okay, now we get it to the cave dweller village. Ah, oh, I see. And then the mage is going to be here, right? It's got the f***ing sound effect on that f***ing weapon. <laughs> Soul devouring necklace. We like that. That's decent against some boys, huh? Oh! Let's go! Hey, for Pello. I think we're looking okay. Oh, I just got a quill. Dude, I'm absolutely loaded. All right. So, we're going to steal the cubes. We steal the cube, and then we go down the normal route. Cannibalism time, that's right. And as they said in Hannibal the movie, it's cannibalin time. <laughs> do I unlock the shortcut as here as, as well? Is that what I do? Uh, there's a- we're eating people now, right? You can't see that shit. I go down here. Okay, got it. Now I'm gonna do the portal with Lagarde, right? What's the next step, boss? What are we doing? Not now. Say no more, boss. All right. All right, I gotta not despawn the crow. And to ensure that the crow doesn't despawn because we have to kill him, we need to make sure that we don't step on these squares, as Rapolo mentioned earlier. I'm just gonna stay on these squares. Lucky coin? Lord knows I need it. Oh, shit. Wait, can I not escape? What the fuck? What the fuck? No! And though it was a close call, I managed to escape. I'm stressed out, bro. I'm stressed. That's crazy. Uh, dude, I'm uh, <laughs> So, current plan is simple. We are gonna do what? Propeller? <laughs> Boys, the plan is simple. We listen to the guy who has 1,000 hours in the game. I'm called, I'll call him. Coach, coach, I need your help, coach. This is getting scary. I need to myself that run. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you have to go into this point right here in the present. Doesn't the witch block me here? Oh, well, this one? Uh, the witch uh, is gonna spawn, but uh, she's very slow. So if you're not scared, you can just go here. Come on, me? <laughs> Revive. <laughs> okay. At, at this point, to pray in two circles, uh, you still didn't pray to, to Grogoroth. Okay, and then I teleport to the other one and pray? Yes. Okay. Grogoroth, all right. Okay. Grogoroth, yeah. All right. And then I go to the one in now? What is now it? Now you can get necromancy. Okay, so I have, I have five soul stone. Yeah, you have more than enough. There is a corpse of a dark priest in the first level, which you can still use a soul stone on. Then I think there is the the goal that you can defeat in the prison. You can use as an easy corpse. There is torture. You have a lot of easy targets for soul stones. Okay, so the plan is now is to backtrack a little bit, go to the entrance, yeah, basically. get all the free 
Corpses. Okay, got it. Zaya's right there. Um, Torturer. I gotta go down to the basement to get his soul. Torturer is uh, not in the basement. He's uh, near the torture room, near the dark priests. Oh, yeah. Dude, how do you remember all this? You're cracked. Yeah, after you go through this dungeon like 100 times, you start to get bored of this stuff, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ate him. Oh no, I actually use it. I envy you. I envy you a lot. Wait, <laughs> wait why? Because as, as I always tell, I would give everything to be able to replay the game without knowing. D I would do everything. Hey, and here I am asking you for everything. Right, so I got three soul stones. Should that be <laughs> enough to go through and get the spells I need? It is absolutely enough. Okay, yeah. So first of all, I got to go in the basement, right? Right. Start getting my friends. Start getting the boys together. All right. Oh, that's a coin toss? Uh, yeah, if you fail the coin toss, uh, something is gonna happen, but uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, it's not too much problematic. <laughs> ah, what? He just ran at me! <laughs> no worries, no worries, it's easy, it's easy. Okay. Oh my god. What the f he can kick? Bro, every- <laughs> What the f- Why does he do so <laughs> Now, even if you fail the coin flip, he doesn't uh, wake up. Oh, thanks for that. So I just messed it up again. But you lose uh, 30 mind every time you use necromancy for now. Oh, permanently? Uh, no, 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 not permanent. <laughs> Imagine permanently. No, 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 no. You just lose uh, 30 mind. Just, just restore it. Oh my god! So every time I f up, I lose 30? Yeah, every time you do this, you lose 30. And that's why once we get some skeletons, it's better if we get infinite mind. Right, okay. Alright, we got one boy. Give Skeleton food, he's hungry. Shut the f*** up. Let's hope this works. Hey! You wanna name my second Skeleton? Me? Oh, yeah. uh, name it... Uh, Obamna. It's a, it's a joke with my chat. Obamna. Uh, Obamna? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, here in the- you have to go to the left, there's gonna be a time machine. And then in this room you just passed, there is the skeleton. Oh, okay. Oh, I just ran into someone. Oh, f the scarab. Oh, the scarab, uh, it's problematic. Uh, let me explain. Basically, he's gonna melt the weapon you are wearing uh, after some turns. Uh, Whoa! Smoke something or whatever. No way. Oh my god. Let's attack him normally. Okay, we are, uh, we are, uh, see, just, yes, just, uh, sorry. <laughs> I talked in Italian for a second. Uh, yeah, just attack it normally. Christ alive. Why do the leg guards suck? What's the deal with that? The amount of enemies in the game that destroys legs is very limited, and uh, all the enemies that are, that are able to destroy the legs are also able to destroy the arms. Ah, uh, in this room, I don't want to waste a torch. Um, do you know where the skeleton is in this room? Oh yeah, it's in the upright part, like one tile before the extreme upright corner. Oh yeah. Oh, it failed. Ah, whatever, we are equipped now for the skeleton fight. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I did it. Did it do it? That was Maybe. successful. Uh... Steven it. Okay, now we're gonna beat the hell out of his eye. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're going straight to his eye. All right, dude, my skelly boys look like that. We're like such a good squad right now. Look at us. Look at the squad, dude. So we're gonna fight him. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna fight him. Should I heal before we enter? No, you can just black orb the head. And it's gonna be fine. I'll take your word for it. I got one shot. Don't miss black orb. Wow. Okay, you're right. <laughs> What's the game plan now? If you if you feel a little bit lucky, you could just go for the Black Witch uh, if you want. Uh, I'm looking for a good weapon first, I think. I mean, I'm gonna have Black Orb, but I don't know. Also, if you if you, if you don't know this, uh, if you use a Leg Sweep uh, on the Black Witch, you're gonna destroy the arms. If you use Leg Sweep? If you use Leg Sweep, uh, you destroy the arms. <laughs> okay, I won't ask why that works like that in the game. I don't actually... Because I've never dug up this treasure. I actually don't recall what spot it was on. All right, I'll have a look at the map. Let me have a look, see here. Let me have a look at this mole map. How am I going to be? It's just a map, right? Uh, map one. I, I see. So I think I know where it is, but I'd love to know where you think it is, just in case. Where I think it is or the chat? Where you, where you think it is. Where I... Dude, these stairs feel so troll to go up. <laughs> okay, perfect. Should I use a torch? I should use a torch. No, 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 you don't oh. need to. You can just, uh, like, it's in front of you, the wall portal. You just uh, move and click. Whatever, use the torch. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, so I fill up a glass with 
water. Oh uh, yeah. Now hold the W on your keyboard and keep clicking Z. Okay. While you while you are in t uh, to to fill water faster. Okay. Okay. Keep doing it for a while until okay. all the glass vials are full of water. Done. Okay, perfect. Now, transmutation costs 15 mind. Okay. Use it to turn a water vial into a wine vial. Okay. Then drink the wine vial <laughs> and you get more than 15 mind. You can just repeat the process until you have 100 mind and a lot of wine vials. <laughs> okay. Do you have a moldy bread by any chance? Because if you do, we have also infinite food. I have a moldy bread, I guess. Perfect! Uh, then we won the game! Is this how Jesus did it? Is this how he did it? Yeah, fear and hunger is not so fearing as, and so hungry anymore. We all well, no fear and no more hunger, I guess. Now, it's killing time, is what I'm feeling like. First of yeah. all, we probably need a good weapon on our boy. Hmm, we could fight the Chrome Molder immediately if you want. Is it risky? Would you do this if it was you? If in this moment I was playing uh, with Red Vial, Iron Mask, Black Orb, uh, yes, I would fight the Chrome Molder immediately. Alright, I'm gonna red... red... And hit him in the face with the red thing. Uh, red Vial. To the face. Yes. Alright, he's blind. Alright, skeleton brain. <laughs> His bones are broken! No. His bones are broken! That's all he had! They took that from him! <laughs> Obomna, no! Let me check. Oh my god, Obomna's getting his ass beat. Oh, wait, wait, you have a pyromancy trick, right? I do. Burn the torso. Okay. Whoa, skeleton got the big crit. Oh, I got mauled. Oh, it missed! Okay, finally. Okay, it's really nice of him to go for literally everyone else. Okay, got him. Alright, Soulstone. Yes. Perfect. Uh, yes, Soulstone, Soulstone. Alright. Is that like a different Soulstone now? What the? Is it, what does it turn into? Like a lesser one or a different one? Oh, it turns into the Chromolar Soul. It's, uh, uh, it's an armor. It's an armor. Oh. Wait, you, 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 you finished... All the ascendings without ever using the soul armors? Uh, really? Yeah. Bro! Yeah, I, I, I never heard of this shit! How did you do that? Bro, you're you're even better than me, you, honestly. How did you finish all the ascendings without ever using them? Dumb luck. Yeah, in my previous run of Fear and Hunger, I never once figured out what the soul stones were for. So I never leveled up my character and never got any strong skills. Alright, so <laughs> now... Killing the boss? Uh, take the Miasma and then, uh, yeah. Use the blood portal to go to the first level. Okay. So, gonna go to the door. But the door was in the basement, right? So we gotta jump down into yes. the basement. Okay, let's go and do that. Give me the voice in your, in your head. You miserable little worm, you wish to use me. Is there any downside to using him? Uh, yeah. If you are playing uh, on Fear and Hunger difficulty, if you surpass uh, three certain points uh, in the map while uh, uh, under 50 mind, you are gonna kill all your party members. Huh? If your party members uh, keep the miasma while you surpass those points, uh, they are gonna go mad and they're gonna try to attack you. But, uh, fun fact, the skeletons uh, don't do this. So if you keep the <laughs> skeleton, you're gonna be fine. Okay. All right. Well, of course, there's always a caveat in this game. It's, ne it's never, it's never just this in this game. It's always, there's always a, a catch. <laughs> I just take the miasma. There's no downsides now. Yeah. If you keep it to the skeleton, yes. Got it. I'll, who do you, I'll give it to Abomino because since he's your boy, <laughs> stupid cave mother. All right. Here we go. Cool. Uh, so. Yeah, Black Orb the tour, so. Oh my god, the miasma hit. Boom. Oh. Steve lost his arm! Okay. Now, in this new phase, uh, if you Black Orb the head, you should win. Of course. Yes. Uh, you know, I almost, uh, I was almost sweating before <laughs> because she had a very low chance of cutting off one of your legs. Uh, I was very scared that she was gonna do that uh, in the worst case scenario, but fortunately she didn't. <laughs> Opening between its legs, search. You reach out, you find a Nomeg. Okay. Use the soul stone, I'm guessing? Yes, sir. Uh, that's the second soul we get. Okay, well, this is good. Hey, we're looking good. We're looking good. I'm not worried. Not even I. You're being a very, very good player in this moment. I'm being overly cautious. This, this game has taught me to do that. Especially when I've been streaming for 12 hours and I don't want to redo this. <laughs> Imagine now we randomly die to a dog or something. <laughs> okay, we shouldn't say these things out loud just in case. <laughs> Salmon snake fight. I poison the tongue right away is the play. And then no, we're... no, 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 no. Okay. We have the gnomegs. 
We have the gnome eggs. Oh, right, right, right. You have to talk and give eggs every single turn to be sure to gain the maximum advantage from them, okay? <laughs> okay. So right now, every single turn now, I just give them an egg and hope that my skeleton boys can, can do some work. Yeah, because of, because of something that I don't know about, uh, if you do it uh, once every two turns, uh, he just decides to attack regardless. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? All right, there we go. Hey, he went for the eyes. Look at him. Look at him go. Off a gnome egg. Off. He's been numb. <laughs> okay, one arm down. Nice. Okay. Like black on the torso and it's going to be fine. Wow. Yeah, you have spot on. Holy sh... So, do I want to kill the Spectre Ghost if I see it, or just ignore it? No, 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 this, the Ghost has 10,000 HP. I don't think you want to deal with him. Okay, so, okay. just attack his... Where should I attack? Just his arms? The yeah. only thing on this one that attacks is the right arm. If you destroy the right arm, this <clears throat> one doesn't do anything else. Okay, wow, the man's did 1,400 damage. Lord, bro, that's a crit. Jesus. <laughs> Fun fact, if you have escape plan, you cannot run from this battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Oh, shit. Uh, my run failed. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's still a 50-50, I think, uh, in this difficulty. Oh, he lost his leg, Obama. That's fine, that's fine. We don't care about legs. I guess I should just fight, honestly. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Oh. Easy. Horizontal sweep. Oh, no, vertical. Okay, okay. You could try to fight Chambara next, because uh, after Chambara there is the White Angel, so... White Angel Soul. Okay. Since you're here, we are near the Black Witch. Just to fight the Black Witch. Okay. Am I scared of the Black Witch? Is she crazy, or are we, are we busted right now? She is crazy, but you can make them harmless uh, by doing one simple thing. Let me check just Let me to guess. Sure. Let me guess. I, I, uh, I clap her in the left knee, and then it destroys her entire life. <laughs> Basically! Okay, um, we can just go Oonga Boonga on the head with Black Orb. Do you think that'll work? I think that's gonna work. If this was my run, I would have done it immediately. <laughs> alright, okay, alright, well, alright, say no more. <laughs> alright, well, that worked. <laughs> oh, wait, we go kill Grandma? Uh, yeah, we could go and kill Grandma right now. Alright, Grandma. Um, I'm guessing I don't need to use a torch. Does it, can my mind go down here? Uh, your mind goes down, but you don't really need to. Like, we have infinite mind. True. Do I need to do these cutscenes? Uh, you you need to do these cutscenes, yeah. Okay. Guys, don't listen to this. It's just a gym, guys. What do you mean? It's, it's really hard. <laughs> it's just a gym. Don't worry. That's why I didn't like the torch. You know, every time I do these in my stream, sir, I I just go very close to the microphone and they cover the sound like this. <laughs> I'm sure they they uh, the viewers enjoy that. That's... Anyways, uh, do you want to be completely safe? Because if you want to be completely safe, there is something we can do. Yeah, absolutely. I want to be completely safe. We're gonna consume one empty scroll to okay. get a uh, fast stance. Oh, okay. That that allows me to go twice. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Oh, Lord. Teach. Fast attack. God. Okay. Uh, I think I'm ready, right? I got everything equipped. I think we go into this, we just start hitting arms, right? Uh, yes, the first turn you fast attack and then you just... Uh, black Orb maybe on the arms because you're not gonna one-shot them otherwise. With the Black Orb, we have a chance to one-shot them. Does hitting her now do literally anything for this fight or no? You know, I tried to deal a tremendous amount of damage to her to see if maybe she was killable. It didn't work exactly well. I don't know why. Huh. Okay, that was a good damage. Uh, maybe we should secure a kill on the arm, yeah. Yeah, that's what I went for. Okay, there are only three more arms. Oh! Okay, Easy. all the arms are gone. Nice! Let's fucking go. I get this, I get, because I, I don't get her soul, I get the enlightened one soul, right? Like, for the flash black. Fla my flash back. Oh my god, so sorry. I, my, this is what happens when you stream for no goddamn 12 hours. <laughs> no worries, I cannot even pronounce it. Enlightened. So imagine. That. Enlightened one! I'm doing this all for a fucking PNG, by the way. At the end, where it just says S. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the, it's say I did it. Did I have a man hold my hand the entire, basically play the game for me? Yeah, I did, but I'm the one pressing the buttons. All right, wake up for my dream. Okay, boring thing. Oh my God, Lord of the Flies. Do I fight him? If you are not able to juke him, yes. It'd be tough to juke him, I think, yeah. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I guess I just black orb him. Uh, yeah, black orb the head, you should be fine. Harry Paul does around 40 damage, but you have a lot of armor, so you should be fine. He doesn't like Gordon Ramsay. What's the deal with that? He does look like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see Gordon Ramsay in there. Wow. Skeleton lost both arms, if I remember correctly, so... <laughs> he, did, he did lose both his arms. Steve. Okay, Steve in the worst case scenario will, became a, will, be, will, be, will become a sacrifice during a battle. Cool. If 
I remember correctly when I did this, the tormented one spawned. Sometimes uh, he bugs uh, and he doesn't reach you. If you're lucky, he's not he's not gonna reach you. So just keep doing it, just ignore him. Yeah, just ignore it. Just he, ignore it. He, he definitely if reached he, me. No, no, if he reaches you, you move, of course. Okay, um, you have the Sun Snake Soul to keep the right? Yeah. Then run away. Okay. And run to the left machine. <laughs> I thought you meant just don't worry about him. <laughs> I meant, I meant uh, if he comes near you, move. That, that's what I meant. Sorry, I, I didn't express myself correctly. It's okay, it's my bad. Okay, okay, you can't, uh, you, you can't apologize it. for my low brain IQ. Oh my god, he clapped me because I did it too early. No! Whatever. Whatever, oh, it's fine. unable to escape. It's fine, it's fine. He has a chance to use Chains of Torment in this case, if I remember, but uh, that's not a problem. Okay, he's just beating up on Obama. Okay, he got bored. Okay, okay he did it. Perfect. Now, just leave the room, uh, being careful to not run into Chambara, and you're fine. Okay, check once again if you're fully prepared, and then you go. So, when we get in this fight, what are we thinking? Oh, uh, I don't know. You figure out. Okay. No, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm gonna help you, of course. <laughs> so, well, first of all, in the first phase, we use fast attack to get the yeah. extra turn. That's what I was thinking. Alright, now, what do I do now? Now, since we are the tank, we are gonna put uh, pheromones on ourselves. Okay. All and right. then the last step of the combo is uh, poison the torso. Of <laughs> course. Throwing that may miss, but if it lands, it's gonna be 100% poison. Wait, why is he not attacking me? Oh, because uh, Pamel is one of the attacks that bypasses pheromones. We are set up, setting up pheromones for phase 2. Okay, 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 got it. Okay. And now, from now on, in the normal turns, you are gonna guard. Okay. Oh, god, no. And then I can heal in the off turns. This seems pretty busted. Exactly. Oh my god, my skeletons just don't want to go for anything but him. <laughs> bro, me, bro, <laughs> Obamna, hit someone! <laughs> Obamna, try to hit someone challenge, impossible difficulty. Say, Obamna, please. No, oh. <laughs> Obamna! Oh, okay, okay, so what I think now. Uh, what you want to do now is black orb the, the Chambara. Okay. If we are lucky enough, uh, not a lot, uh, we're gonna win. Okay. All three of them hit. Oh, there it is. Okay. okay, come on, come on. You can do it, my friend. You can do it. All right, Tormented Soul. Then it was on to the next boss. Where is he? He's up here, right? Come on out, buddy. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. Okay. Straight away, Black Orb. Not even Fast Stance. Just Not even Fast Stance. Just Black Orb the Heart. Uh, you should be able to hit him. Hit once. Okay, should be almost dead. Come on. Ah, there we go. Got him. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Ah, we have one more chance again to get in the book. No! No, no shot. I don't lose this. It's gotta be heads. There we go. Oh my god, I can finally can make stuff. Yep, I went the whole run without being able to craft potions. All right. We're good to go. Okay. Also, right. you know what's the funny thing? If we fail the pheromones, because pheromones has a 5% chance of failing, uh -huh. this may be problematic. Oh, 5% chance. That's so low. That's not going to happen, right? You said it. So, Steve, we're making Steve on meat shield. Let's do it. Steve, yes. I don't, I don't think it failed. Yeah, if it doesn't say miss, it didn't fail. Right. Okay, now, uh, we're going to poison the head just to be sure to secure the win. Mm-hmm. And now I steal? Uh, now steal. It's time to flex on Valtail. I stole both the soul stones in one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a one time only two soul stones. Okay. Should I answer his questions now? Okay. Good. You know uh, the answers. You the studied. character who walks among all men called the Pocket Cat. He is a servant of which older god? Uh, Trickster? Trickster. Yeah, I thought so. That's a great. The double talk. Sheesh. He's got to be so close to dying. Uh, among us, the new gods I invite here, the enlightened one, uh, Chambara. Torment is Chambara, yes. There we go. Done. Easy. All right. We're so close now. Now it's time to fight the nameless figurine. <laughs> important, important, important. <laughs> okay. Kill uh, the arms uh, of the nameless figurine. Okay. All right. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right. All right. Let's just, uh, I guess I, I say fast attack or just hit him right away. Both the arms? Or, uh, any... You have the white angels, so you don't need the fast attack. Oh, right, right, right. To, uh, start with one arm and then the other one. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Oh my god, his armor die. Yeah, they have like one one thousand and something HP if I remember correctly. Oh, Steve ate shit, but it's fine. Oh, whatever, whatever. We can get a gold. We can get the greater blood. Oops, greater blood golem. You know. Yeah, let's let's try it. We got new Steve. Oh, big crit. Now, since uh, we don't trust Steve anymore, we don't trust the skeletons anymore, you are gonna keep the miasma. Oh, okay. Is there a reason why? Yeah, we don't want them to kill Francois early. The doggers, I hear the doggers. Uh, just uh, rush to the right and it's gonna be fine. Just get the key? Do I need to kill the thing now as well? Nah, you don't need to. You can just rush to the right. Okay, cut it open. Right, so we, we do that. Why do we kill? Oh, that's for the butterfly, right? Yes, uh, for the butterfly. Because we, if we kill the the butterfly enemy, we don't get the butterfly soul. This is the only way to get the butterfly soul. Okay, so go back in the past. Kill Francois. Come out. Don't sit on the throne, obviously. We kill Iron Shakespeare. Go to the butterfly, and then we're done. And uh, we are missing the old guardian. Oh, the old guardian. No worries, no worries, no worries. There is a reason. Uh, to trust me. The old guardian is gonna be very easy. Okay, so we go back in. Time. We go back in time and we fight Francois, yes. I'm pretty much not concerned at all about fighting him, right? Because we just permanently unlock him. Uh, yeah, just be careful about one thing. The reason I made you unequip the skeletons is because I want you to kill the arms before going to phase two. Okay, okay. All right, so I'm good to fight, right? I don't need to equip anything else. I'm good. Uh, eat something because you have 34 uh, hunger and then you're good. I did not eat something. I fucked that. Whatever, whatever. It We're just slows it down. It just time. slows it down. Yeah, exactly. Thank God that we can gaslight him into oblivion. It's such a good idea. It's Prepare to die like a worm. I'm past life and death. It's of I'm course closer to the gods than no one you're close to the gods. Yes, sir. Uh, the other gods are dead. Uh, you're nothing but a puppet. Puppet, and then a holy puppet. There we go. You've probably done that many a time. <laughs> Yeah. So I have, I have three turns now where he's stunned, right? Yeah, I mean, we did extra turns like six, but yeah, six, yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's hard. That is actually hard to keep track of. Thank you for that. Nice skeleton. <laughs> yeah, I should have the fattest crit on him. I'm so close, I'm so close. Nice, dude, that's huge. Oh my god, they're all, they're all pounding on him. Let's go, boys! All right, <sighs> done. Okay. Oh, it's done. Perfect. Uh, Got a soul. <sighs> okay. So where am I going to next? The nearest one, technically, is the old guardian. Now, are you a brave person or are you a coward? <laughs> okay, well, okay, hold up now. Why? Why? Why is Tell that? Tell me. I'd like to say I'm a little brave. Reach the tower of the endless by going to the right. Okay, why? What are we doing? Nothing, just walking. What the fuck? Why is he there? Just chilling. Uh, and if I walk past him? Uh, I don't know. Want to try? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> Fine. So what? First turn, black orb the head. And hopefully we one-shot him. I missed. Okay. In the extra turn, you're gonna do it again. Okay. Just in the extra turn. Then in the normal turn, you're gonna guard. Okay? There's no way it misses twice, right? Okay, all right, he's dead, he's dead. Now, where are the Tower of the Endless, uh, at least? Oh, I see him. Should I be concerned okay. about my skeletons? How, does this guy do big damage? No, no, no. You're gonna see a very important uh, bug uh, in here, so no worries. Okay. Are you ready to see the true gibberish of the code? <laughs> sure, show me. What the f***? His arms just died. <laughs> okay, okay. You remember I made you kill the nameless figurine arms? Yes. That's because, for some reason, those arms are connected. <laughs> okay, so I he can't attack me now, basically? If you burn the torso, you should be fine. Oh, it that did not work. Did oh, no, it did work. work. Okay, it didn't didn't work. His burn it just didn't show for some reason. Oh, it's because it's behind his body. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just attack the torso and it's gonna be fine. Okay. okay. Okay, so now I just need to teleport to level one. Yes, sir. and I think it's finally time to interact with Lagarde to get the ending. If the guard wants to fight, we f him up. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay. So, I probably go back up. Yes. We're gonna go and see... The butterfly? Oh, yeah, the butterfly and the Iron Shakespeare. Yeah, butterfly, then we drop down to Iron Shakespeare, then we leave. Then we're done! All right, last guy's Iron Shakespeare. You know what? Take the, the take the goal with necromancy. There is a goal. Uh, yeah, in the, I saw. In the I room. saw. 
Oh, 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 it's not a coin flip. Uh, Steve, come back. He's human now. <laughs> right, so I'm guessing I double black orb chest. Yeah, the hands have like 1300 HP or something, yeah. Alright. Oh, nice. We're gonna do break his bones? Okay. Keep black orbing and he's gonna be fine. There it is. He's dead? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir! You've now slain every beast and creature that had a corrupted soul. The man you came for this dungeon seems to be dead, and you also found the stolen artifact, Cube of the Depths. You've achieved everything that you set out to do. It might be better to leave now while you're still capable. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get me the fuck out of here. Get me the fuck out of here! Alright, so I just run to the end and then we're done. We're done. That's it. Come on. We got this. Come on. Alright, and there you have it, chat. Four hours in, and we got. Ragnarvold S ending. Oh, yes, we did it! <laughs> there it is, boys! You got everything you came for. The captain of the cursed mercenary army was dead. You got the unholy artifact back. You also made sure that the evil that lurked in the darkness was vanquished. You slaughtered every single creature that held true power in the dungeons. However, you know the darkness doesn't end to the dungeons. You've witnessed the same evil in a faraway continent of Vinland and the same corrupting force lurks in the every dark corner of the world. It is restless and relentless. For you to stop it from spreading, you also need to be restless and relentless. From the moment you escaped the Dungeons of Fear and Hunger, you dedicated your life in hunting down those that are conceived by the darkness. You would hunt down all the macabre beasts that hid from the eyes of the oblivious Western world. The beasts would come to know your name. There it is. Dude, that, it's by far the best ending. Literally just kills everyone. He's kind of chilling. He's like, all right, my whole life is just dedicated now to murder. Thank you so much, my man. You, that, no way I would have been able to do that alone. Um, uh, you're welcome. No, no, I'm sure you would have been able to. It would no. have more time. No, 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 you, you would have been able to, my friend. Well, thank you so much, Frippola, man. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone goes and checks you out. I, I really appreciate you helping me and spending so many hours here today. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. All Good right. Day. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, goodbye. What a what a awesome dude. Holy sh Well, there we had it, boys. Every single fear and hunger, hunger, every single fear and hunger S ending in one stream. And we did a bonus E ending just for fun. But I never want to do that ever again. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, it helps support us and lets us do more content like this. And come check out the Twitch streams live on Twitch.tv. We have where we live three to four times a week. And let me know down below what I should do next. What kind of fun challenges, any other fun indie games that I should play or any other games I haven't heard about. So let me know. But in the meantime, chat, I'm done. Bye!